Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be grabbing some fabric paint. Fabric paint. I totally just butchered that. Fabric spray paint by rust -Oleum. And I thought that I was going to like make over my patio furniture using some paint. And you will see that it was just spraying on really really splotchy. Um, it was running off. I was just really having a tough time trying to get it to do right. And then I just kept on doing it. Spray painted a few more. And then I realized that my cushions were actually in a lot of a worse shape than I thought they were. And I had seen that at this um, kind of like a warehouse type discount store that I go to. Um, they had some random cushions in random sizes and I knew that I could match up at least like two bottom cushions. So you'll see in a little bit what I actually ended up doing with my outdoor furniture. So here I am just taking a broom and quickly sweeping off all of the leaves that are trapped up under where the pillows were on the furniture and whatever else was hung in there. <laughs> and then I actually realized that my pillows were in worse shape than I thought. And some of them were ripped and the foam was hanging out. And so I ran to the store to grab the other ones. These were the ones that I found at the outlet store and although they didn't match, they were better than the ones I had before. And so I had gray on the couch and then I found a matching set for the one chair. And my idea was to just get some extra pillows to line the back of the couch because I actually don't mind the way the wicker looks. That's kind of my favorite thing about it. So I didn't mind letting the back show a little more than it did before. I also want to mention that these pillows from that store were literally $5 a piece. So I got all four of those for $20 versus what I had like spent in the spray paint, which was $12 a piece. So it was like $36 plus tax um, for the three cans that I had bought. While I was out, I had stepped in Ollie's and grabbed another outdoor rug. As you can see, the one I had was pretty crusty. <laughs> and also, I was going to tell y'all, pay attention to how disgusting the porch is because I plan to clean it really good and stain it, and I'm hoping to make that a video. So just stay tuned for that and ignore the gunk for now on the porch. <laughs> okay, I just got back from Walmart. And I guess this is going to turn into a little yard refresh, or, yeah, yard refresh, yard work, whatever. 
I got two of these $4.50 pansies. I got two new hanging baskets to replace the ones that I have hanging up. They're looking pretty raunchy. This one was $13.88. And this one was actually on clearance for $10. And I always try to get pansies whenever we still have some cold weather because they are survivors and they live through really cold weather. I grabbed a bag of miracle Grow garden soil. Oh, I meant to get pot and soil. Crap. Well, it says all purpose. Oh, well, that's going to work. I'm not taking that back. <laughs> um, I got a six pack of these little solar lights and I got two of these for the little couch over here. And I figured since I got I got these y'all saw me put these on from like a what is it called warehouse type place and they only had random pieces so there was two gray ones I grabbed those to go there because mine were just in bad condition I didn't even know it um, and then so I thought since I didn't have back pieces I would just put those up there and then this one I actually had um, two matching pieces so it worked out okay I have got some spray paint some black and I'm just gonna these and I got new hanging pots here is the other one and also I know that somebody um, one of my subscribers pointed out that I should stain my deck or paint it I'm not sure but I'm so so excited because I am going to do that that's hopefully gonna be my next video so I'm really excited I got the stuff to do it and we're gonna try it see how it works I have no clue what I'm doing but I'm gonna figure it out <laughs> hey my binks hey binks what are you doing this is my sweet baby found him and four of his siblings in the middle of the road. We kept everyone.
Of course the children had to help for just a few minutes. It didn't last long, but, you know, they like to feel included. I am just pulling some weeds and kind of gathering everything up out of this little area and here in just a second I'm trying to get this weed up and it cracks me up. I look like I've like touched a snake or something but it was just ants and I was afraid they were going to get all in my gloves and tear my hands up. <laughs> so I kind of hurry up and got it and sling it off. And after I get what weeds are grown up in here out and everything I start to shovel in the mulch and just get things looking nice. Now I'm just taking a rake and spreading out the mulch that I have shoveled in and I'm um, fixing the rocks that I kind of have laid around. It's like a little barrier. Um, some of them had weeds thrown around them and some were just kind of fell off. But this was just one area that I mulched that day. I, mul I did another one and on that second one 
the wind was blowing so hard this day. I really shouldn't have even been putting mulch out, but it was the weekend and it was just a good time to do it. <laughs> and the wind blew my tripod over and my camera broke. So I'm currently in the process of finding somewhere to fix it. I have to drive somewhere about an hour away. Hopefully tomorrow. I'm hoping to have it fixed so that I can film like a part two of yard motivation if you guys like this. Um, if you do, then please give it a thumbs up and comment if you want to. Subscribe if you are new. And yeah, I'm just, I like doing things outside, inside. Um, I, we do a lot of stuff around here ourselves because we just, I mean, we actually like to do things ourselves, and obviously it saves money. And ta-da, this is what the clip looks like where my camera broke. I got really aggravated in this moment that my camera broke, but I do just want to say I was very quickly kind of slapped in the face with the reality that it was just a camera. Like, yes, it's expensive. It's a Canon G7X, and those are expensive. But it can be fixed. And if it can't be fixed, then it's just a camera. It wasn't my head. It wasn't our husband's head. Our husband's. My husband. I mean, not ours. I hope he ain't nobody else's husband. Um. Anyway, it wasn't ours. It wasn't the kids. We weren't hurt. It was just a camera. So, just be thankful for the things that you do have in life. Like health and the things we take for granted so often.